Raphael, an Italian, was an architect and a painter of the High Renaissance. He, along with Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo, created the trinity of great masters of their time. His works spread into three categories. He spent his early years in Umbria, then he traveled to Florence. And lastly, he embarked to Rome, where he painted for 12 years, working for two popes. He had an unsettling childhood because his mother died when he was eight, leaving him with his stepmother and his father. His father was a painter for the Duke of Umbino and owned an artist workshop. About three years after the death of his mother, his father also passed away. In Raphael's later years, he was apprenticed as a painter, and showing a talent, he moved around through Italy, studying and making an artist's living. During his travels, his first major stop was in Florence, where he had two great influences on his work. The first was basic Florentine art. The second was painter Leonardo da Vinci. As his name became well known, Raphael's last stop was Rome. It was here that he confronted Michelangelo's artistic rivalry. While the paintings during the Renaissance seemed lifelike, the faces in Raphael's had expression and feeling. It appeared that they truly resembled people of the times. Raphael's most noted work was the Vatican Stanzi. This is known as the Stanzi della Signatura, Room of the Signature. In this fresco, Raphael depicts the distribution of the Holy Sacrament of Eucharist. It resides in Julius II's study. He brings together the spirit of Christianity and antiquity through his representative figures. This painting also reflects the Pope's library with its themes of theology, philosophy, jurisprudence, and poetry. Since this room represents both spiritual and worldly wisdom, this artistic rendering is well suited to its surroundings. The theme of wisdom is appropriate since many papal documents were signed within this library. Combining the religious and worldly, Raphael painted the meaning of Leo the Great and Attila the Hun in 1514. It depicts the story of Leo preventing Attila's takeover of Rome. In the upper portion of the painting are the images of St. Peter, the first Pope, and St. Paul. They are shown with swords drawn, indicating the power of Christianity over the barbarians. Lastly, the deliverance of St. Peter shows this event in three episodes. Although Peter has been imprisoned, he is liberated by an angel, as told in the Bible in Acts 12. Raphael is showing the power of Peter, the vicar of Christ, over human restraints. Some historians believe that Raphael chose this theme since, as Cardinal, Julius II's church was named St. Peter in Chains. This work represents a study in light. The observer is shown torchlight, moonlight, and angel light, the last being the brightest.